So we're live. Hi. Maybe we give up people a few seconds to log on and join us. We're hanging out with Madison and Bo. Madison, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. So I'm Madison. I am the new education director. Um, and thank you for joining us for Giving Tuesday today. So we, our goal is to raise money for Wi-Fi in the sanctuary. Um, and we have a very generous donor who is matching up to $15,000. Hi, Bo. Um, but Wi-Fi will help both our keepers and our education program. Um, so Wi-Fi, not super great in the sanctuary. And we do offer virtual tours um, where it tends to cut out a little bit. Um, something else, though, that uh, we would love to be able to show you is some of our animals that live off tour. So, over half of our animals are off tour uh, in our sanctuary. When animals come in, um, we learn about their personalities and some of them just don't like large groups of people, so we're not gonna make them um, see people. So Bo here, um, if you've been out on a tour, you might have walked right past him. He likes to hang out up on his platform uh, and he's mostly a brown lump when our tour group walks <laughs> um, Because Bo was born in the wild. Um, he was abandoned as a cub and then he was rescued. But being born wild, Bo learned that people are pretty scary. So he's not always eager to come up to large groups of people. Um, through Aubrey, though, I am able to get Bo to come hang out with me for a little bit, take some treats off of a tree stick. Um, but if we had Wi-Fi throughout the sanctuary, I could do virtual tours um, where people could come, they could see Bo um, through a camera. And he is much happier that way. Um, but it gives people a chance to see him. Hey, down. Down. Bo. Bo good. Very distracting. Huh? <laughs> There's a lot going on. There is a lot going on. Um, something else that Wi-Fi will help us do, though, uh, is get cameras so that we can monitor our animals. So it will help our keepers out. Um, animals like Bo uh, tend to be more active uh, at night when nobody's here. Uh, so it's nice to be able to check in, see what they're doing. And if we have that footage, it's also things that we would love to be able to share with the public, let you guys see what Bo gets up to when we're not around. <laughs> what, are, what are some other fun, I feel like Garcia is one that people want to yeah. see more of. Yeah. Um, A lot of um, our nocturnal animals are off tour because they're not going to be visible anyway during the day and they don't want to be. Um, so some of our smaller guys, Garcia, the raccoon, uh, we have Kawadis, um, the Kinkajous, all of those guys are off tour, um, and they're pretty cute. So it would be <laughs> great to be able to show you um, what those guys are, are getting up to. Um, and I know they're pretty popular on our Facebook page, so it would be nice to be able to see them moving around and, and get to do tours. That's true. Red wolves too. Um, red wolves are red wolves are very very shy, which is a good thing. We don't want them to be used to being around people. Um, and so I know a lot of people want to see the red wolves. We can't go back and visit them, um, but I think Wi-Fi in the sanctuary, allowing us to hook up some cameras, um, will be such a great way to uh, let people view the red wolves in a way that um, is safe and good for them. Absolutely. Yeah. The red wolves. Um part of a breeding program so we don't want them to get used to people because we'd love for them to go back out into the wild someday um, and the best wild animals are the animal, wild animals that are scared of people um, but they're pretty far back in the sanctuary so they're not getting used to the sounds of people um, and wi-fi for sure would not reach them right now <laughs> no the yeah that's why it's a little sketchy even out here with Bo, but um so far we're hanging in there um we do have donations that have been rolling in for the past few weeks um, or excuse me for the past couple days. Um, and we hope to be able to reach that 30,000 goal. Um, we are really excited, uh, to be working on this project and to have you guys uh, be a part of it and help us, uh, reach this goal. Susan, do we have anything else we need to add for the no. people? Well, just, of course, thank you for to everyone for their ongoing support. Giving Tuesday is a global day of giving, and we're just thrilled by everyone who wants to give to Carolina Tiger Rescue. In fact, we've had this matching gift now for about five years, and it is really a great opportunity for people to make the most of their donation because it will be doubled. 
So thank you so much. And we look forward to showing you um, our new Wi-Fi once we get it installed. Yeah, what are some, um, while we're here, what are some other projects that we've completed with the help of giving Tuesday donations? Well, we have um, some new enclosures. We have our extended indoor, outdoor um, quarantine building and fencing. We have a transport truck and trailer. We've gotten a, um, a Cadoba and wow. Some other big some projects. Other big <laughs> and, and equipment that we would not have been able to get otherwise. Yeah. So, thank you so much to everybody. We try to make Global, I mean, Giving Tuesday um, a special project, not just to support our ongoing operational costs. And so um, we always try to pick something different in the sanctuary. Oh, a lot of medical equipment also. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That, uh, that equipment is huge, hugely important for us. Yep. So anything that we raise over our $30,000, um, we will put that into the general expenses to take care of fantastic animals like Bo here. And as you can see, he does a great job <laughs> most of the time with Madison and doing his operant conditioning. Um, operant conditioning really helps him have a lot of confidence and um, it makes our jobs a lot easier because <laughs> We can check out his paws and make sure that his paws are um, not impacted by anything in them and that they're clean and safe and also just helps us keep a better watch on things like his ears that gets a lot, get a lot of bugs and stuff like that in them in the summer. So um, Madison is doing a great job um, bonding with Bo. <laughs> uh... As you can see, though, he's showing that he is still a cat. And I can't make him do anything he doesn't want to. That is true. <laughs> very true. Cats are going to cat. <laughs> Bo would be very happy with Wi-Fi where uh, we don't have to, to bring people down here all the time. And you can see him and he doesn't have to see you. There you go. That's ideal. Um... Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of Bo and some operant conditioning with Madison, our new education director. This is her Facebook Live debut. Um, so everyone, welcome her in the comments. We're very excited to have her. Susan, anything else you want to add? Yep. Just thank you so much in advance for all of your support, and we'll see you soon. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Happy Giving Tuesday.